The special prosecutor has frozen the assets of late chief executive officer of the Forestry Commission, Kwejo Usefriye, also known as Sir John. Mr. Friye's will went viral on social media a couple of weeks ago amid concerns he had gifted lands at the Achimota Forest and a host of other houses and properties across the country to his family members. The Lands Ministry has since commenced a probe into the said lands and declared any such acquisition and transfers as invalid. The special prosecutor also indicated commencing investigations into the matter. Well, the latest is that assets of the former chief executive have been frozen. Elton Brobe, my colleague, joins me with details of that information. Elton, what do we know so far? So, uh, Aisha, what we are picking is that this is just the latest move uh, out of investigations into the acquisition of state lands that were contained in the well of the late Sir John. Now, the Office of the Special Prosecutor, as you may be aware, last week commenced investigations into uh, a suspected case of corruption against Sir John with regards to his alleged proper acquisition of state lands within the Achimota Forest and the Sakumon Ramsar site. Now, what is just came in is that they've managed to, uh, to froze uh, the assets of Sir John, and they are also working to froze similar assets that are held in his name outside of the country. Do the special prosecutor seek to do uh, with this information? This is just in response to a petition that was sent to the Office of the Special Prosecutor to investigate whether the assets of the late Sir John as captured in this world were acquired illegally or, to, uh, or whether it was also done through corrupt means. So it is only seeking to establish whether they were genuinely acquired or were acquired through uh, you know, uh, illegal means. That's exactly what the special prosecutor is doing. For what we have picked, they've started this investigation. The first casualty, indeed, is what we are witnessing today, that they've managed to force the, his assets, and they're also working to do same to some assets of the late St. John that are outside of the country. We know about the probe that has also been instituted by the Lands Ministry. We don't know much, except on Monday we were told that the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources wrote to the uh, Lands Commission to begin tracing of the lands captured in the world. That, that is now a subject of you know, investigation by both Shrad, uh, as well as the Office of the Special Prosecutor. In other words, in other, and whether or not these lands were acquired legally or through the normal means. So. First of all, what the Lands Ministry is saying is that they have declared the transaction or their location as not void because the Achimota Forest is not for sale. And for that reason, any pronouncement to high effects cannot hold. So that, uh, that directive has gone to the Lands Commission to do so. The second step is to now trace uh, the lands as captured in the world and to take steps to ensure that they are returned to the state. That is, if there is any development going on on the lands. Mm. All right, Elton Brobe is presidential correspondent, and this is a story that we're keenly following and bring you our viewers' updates as and when we get that.